If you want to learn how to create those silky smooth camera movements you're seeing right now, stick around because I'm about to reveal the secret sauce in just a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. First, we're gonna add a 3D camera into our scene. To do it, press right click, new camera. I will not go deep into the camera settings. If you want me to talk about what all of these settings mean, I can do it in a separate video, but for now, just choose a one note camera and the preset of about 50 millimeters. Click OK. And now you're gonna see a 3D camera inside your timeline. Now to simulate the effect, we're gonna add a bunch of 3D text layers into our scene. To do that, click on the type tool up here, click anywhere on the screen and write your text. Now I'm gonna add a bunch of other 3D text layers and position them inside the 3D space. So I'm quickly gonna fast forward to that. Once I added all the text that we're gonna be using, I quickly switched from one view to two views right here. Now we're gonna make them all 3D and right now you're gonna notice that we can see them right here. I'm quickly gonna position the text layers inside 3D space. And now once we're done positioning the text, it should look something like this. As you can see, every text layer is positioned at a different Z value. That way we can clearly see the depth we're making inside our scene. And now I simply added a bit of rotation to each of the text layers. So now once we're done setting up the scene, we can finally reveal the secret to creating the smoothest movement. And for that, we're not gonna need a camera at all. The only reason I added the camera into our scene is to be able to switch to multiple views right here and therefore set up a scene and look at it from a different angle. Now since the scene is already set up, we can delete the camera. For some reason I can still switch to two views, maybe it's because we already had a camera in our scene, but maybe I'm just dumb and we could have done it without the camera in the first place, but don't judge me on that. Now let's press right click, new, null object. Make it a 3D layer and let's set its color to something different than red. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually select every text layer and use this pick whip icon right here and drag it to our null. Now every text layer right here is parented to the null object, which in other words mean that if we move the null's position, every other layer that is connected to the null is gonna move accordingly. Okay, so what is the secret sauce to creating the smoothest movement? First, make sure you press P on your keyboard. That's gonna open up its position setting. Keyframe that. Now hit R and hit the stopwatch icon next to X and Y rotation. Now hit U on the keyboard. That leaves us with only the keyframes that are currently active. Now just go a bit forward with the playhead and adjust the Z value until you're closer to the text. Just a quick tip, to be a bit more precise, you can click here and turn the proportional grid on. We can see that our text is in the middle and that's what we wanna go for. Now for this first movement, we're not gonna be rotating the camera, so we didn't even have to keyframe the rotation parts, but I'm gonna click on these two icons to add the keyframes right here. Now when we play the animation, we're gonna see how it moves. Obviously, it's not yet the effect that we want. The movement looks very linear. It's not smooth at all. So to make the movement a lot smoother, we're gonna select the keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard, or if you don't have that shortcut, you can also right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then hit easy ease. Now we can go to the graph editor, select the graph, zoom in a little, and now for example, we can make the movement start a bit faster and make it slower when it's coming to an end. We can also turn motion blur on right here. And now when we play the video, we're gonna see how it looks much better. And now here comes the best part. What most of the people would do is go a bit further and then simply change the nose position until we are at our second word. And that is very wrong, don't do that. Let's see how it looks now. So a lot of you might not see the problem at all, but the problem is that we don't want the movement to stop at all. As you can see, camera is zooming in, it comes to the full stop right here, and then continues to move on. Instead of that full stop, we want our camera not to stop moving at all. So let's undo all of this. And now we're simply gonna create another null for another movement. So simply, each time you're creating a new movement, you're gonna make a separate null object for that. That way we can overlap the nulls together to make the smoothest movement that you can make. Let's change its color, turn 3D and motion blur on, and now position the playhead approximately here, set a position keyframe, now set X and Y rotation keyframes, press U, and now we're gonna see all the keyframes that we have. Now move a bit further, and now we're gonna aim for this word right here. But to be able to do that, we're first gonna have to parent the first null to the second one. And now we can simply adjust its position by changing these values right here. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's, for example, change the rotation up a bit. Now adjust it even more. And once it's positioned correctly, you can now select your keyframes and hit F9, get into the graph editor and adjust the curve approximately like this. And now you can simply adjust these keyframes position as you like. For example, if we leave them at the end, the movement's gonna look something like this. It's kind of gonna reach the full stop, but not fully. And the reason it doesn't fully stop before moving again is because we have created a separate null object for the separate movement. 
That way we can overlap these keyframes over the first null and now the movement is not gonna stop but simply continue from where it left off. I'm gonna position my keyframes approximately right here because I simply think the movement looks a lot better. And now we're simply gonna be repeating the same process for each text layer. Again, create another null object, take the playhead and move it backwards a bit. Now parent the previous null to the new null, set a position keyframe again, rotation keyframes, press U to see all of them, now go forward, and now simply locate the next word. Select them again, easy ease, adjust the graph a little again. Now just a quick mention, your graph doesn't necessarily have to look like as I showed you before. It can also look something like this. Basically, you can make it look anything you like depending on what kind of movement you want to achieve. So for example, this graph right here is gonna make the movement kind of fast. But if you for any reason want the movement to be slow at the beginning, you're simply gonna make this graph, perhaps select everything and move it to the left a little. And now when we play the video, you're gonna see how the movement is much slower and then it speeds up by a lot once it reaches this top hill right here. So at the end of the day, it's basically your personal preference. It doesn't really matter how your graph looks like. You're gonna adjust it depending on the pace you want your movement to have. But again, the key point of having a smooth movement is not having a full stop in between each of your movements. And we can only achieve that effect by adding new null objects for each movement by overlapping it with the previous one. And now again, I simply created a new null object, parented a previous one to the new one, set the starting keyframes, and now I simply have to find the next word again. Adjust the graph. And now if I continued, I'd start to get very annoying. I've repeated the process four times already, and I'm sure all of you get the hang of it by now. So now just keep doing the same until you're done with the last word. And now after repeating it a few more times, you're gonna end up with the smoothest scene you've ever created. If you wanna learn After Effects faster, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to what you wanna see next, and I'll see you in the next one.